Live from Studio 8 in Orlando, Florida, it's the Weekly Rundown with your host, DJ Friction, and the Professor, Michael Bits. Yeah, we are live. We are live here for this very special edition of the Weekly Rundown. And let me just tell you, you know, why we're here tonight. Because we're here to actually give you the review on a very special event that took place uh, tonight. And we're going to kind of review it and kind of give you our opinion on the whole rundown of the VMAs. Yes, I said it. The MTV Video Music Awards 2013 happened just a little bit ago, and uh, we want to give you our rundown of, well, should I say, our opinion of this, and um, our our review, pretty much. And I gotta tell you, man, MTV, first of all, I want to say, I do not understand whatever happened to great award shows on your network. It's just pretty much falling apart. The best highlight of the whole night was Justin Timberlake, I'm just gonna be honest with you. But... I'm going to tell you, we're, going to, we're going to pretty much going to give you the, the whole lineup of what happened throughout the night. But, again, MTV uh, Video Music Awards went down and um, show kicked off with, you know, the return of Lady Gaga doing her performance. And uh, let me tell you, it, it sucked. <laughs> That's just my opinion. The song that she performed, Applause... Uh, just wasn't up to par. I mean, you know, we we know Lady Gaga for being extreme and being crazy and and just being over overpowering with her performances. However, she's been gone for a little bit, and um, I don't know if it was part of her performance that, that the crowd was booing her. But if you look at her face during the performance, you see that she was kind of grinning a little bit, like she loved. The reaction, and again, I don't know if it was part of the performance. It may not have been. Um, But her performance was just horrible. With, you know, her performing the applause song and her changing costume on the stage. It just, it was just a horrible performance overall. Again, you know, we know her for her, for her, her, her big performances such as, you know, uh, On the Edge of Glory and, and... You know, all those other great hits that, you know, I actually kind of enjoyed. But, tonight's performance, her return to the stage was just not good. The choreography was horrible. Just the whole overall performance was just not not intact at all. And her costume changes, the way they were performed on stage, just didn't work for you. At all. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably not going to agree with what I say. But, you know, and that's fine. You know, I have I have the... the I'm entitled to my own opinion, like everybody else. Um, but, you know, me being in this, in this broadcasting business for, you know, almost 20 years. And I've seen some great stuff from Lady Gaga. I have. You know, I've, I I was one of those ones to, you know, actually watch her, her concert, her live concert. Um, the very first one that she actually put out there, uh, that broadcast from New York City, was awesome was beautiful. And and, and I, I would sit there and I would say, hey, you know, I wouldn't mind watching it again. You know what? Don't get me wrong. I am not a huge Lady Gaga fan. I am not trying to, you know, to try to dig a hole, dig a grave for her because of whatever. It's not that. I like some of her music. As an artist, you know, I, I respect her as an artist. But, you know, with her go being outrageous, and I, and, I, and I see her getting a lot of her inspiration from Madonna. And, you know, that's cool. But there's only one Madonna. There's only going to be one Madonna. And that's never ever going to change. Moving on. So if we thought that uh, tonight's performance from Lady Gaga was bad. And uh, well. If you guys want to go on over to YouTube. I'm sure within a couple hours you're going to see some some live video come up on there. From from the the VMAs. uh, From the MTV Music Video Awards. Just not good. Oh, talk about weird. Okay, so we know Lady Gaga's out of her, out of her league, and you know we know that she's crazy. She does whatever. Okay, so the next person to take the stage uh, there in the night was um, Miley Cyrus. She uh, took the stage with uh, what's his name? I can't think of his name right now. Robin Thicke to do a dual performance. 
Now, let me just say, Miley Cyrus, what the hell is wrong with you? What's with this whole change? I mean, I think maybe she's just trying to push the limit of maybe changing her style or whatever it is. Maybe it'll work for her. Maybe it will not. But I will tell you this. Her overall performance was just not clean at all. It just wasn't clean uh, choreography-wise. It just wasn't... The performance itself was just not good. Um, I gotta say, though, after Miley Cyrus performed and went straight into Robin Thicke coming on stage and, and performing, I gotta say, Robin Thicke's performance was was pretty decent. It wasn't the greatest either. I think maybe the show would have been better off if Robin Thicke went on stage and did his own thing. It probably would have made a little bit more sense. And maybe it would have, been, would have been a little bit more entertaining, but when you get Miley Cyrus on the same stage with Robin Thicke, and Miley Cyrus grabbing his junk with uh, this rustling foam finger thingy. I swear, like, he was trying to finger Robin Thicke in his privates. And it was just... It was stupid. And then you get two chains coming out to come out and perform. And they got... It just... Just wasn't good. You get all three of these on stage. It just was a not-so-great performance at all. Again, like I said, if Robin Thicke would have been up on stage by himself, it probably been it probably would have been a, like, an amazing performance. It probably would have been a, just a great performance, just to have him up on stage, him being the the, the center uh, spotlight. Because you know, I like Robin Thicke. I mean, I love his his, uh, his song "Blurred Lines," but when you kind of just mix and match certain people, I don't think uh, the producers of MTV uh, VMAs this year weren't really focused. I think they kind of just rushed things together, just push the package together and it just didn't flow well at all not at, not one bit um and it's funny thing about the whole uh miley cyrus not only miley cyrus was wearing some skimpy outfit that i don't know it, it just wasn't attractive at all and i'm sorry miley cyrus I know you probably won't even listen to this show. It may not even get to your damn attention. You know what? And that's cool. I respect you as an artist. I understand you're trying to be creative. Maybe you're trying to try new things. Maybe you're trying to push the limits. But just sometimes when you're focused on as a certain artist, you know, you, you came from the Disney Channel. You know, your family is, you know, your dad's a famous uh, country singer. And, you know, it's just... I don't know. Miley, I, I'm sorry. With all due respect, it's just not working for you at all. But uh, when Robin Thicke came to, out to perform, I gotta tell you, if you guys haven't seen the performance from the VMAs, you guys are definitely gonna have to check it out. Um, because Robin Thicke's outfit, you know, he, like I said, he's a great performer, but his performance wasn't tight uh, as it was. And whoever did his fashion uh, for for the performance for the VMAs, what the hell? When Robin Thicke came to the stage, you know, respectfully, I'm saying this respectfully, I don't want to piss nobody off, but when he came to the stage, he looked like freaking Beetlejuice. He wore the striped outfit from Beetlejuice. You guys just have no idea. And that, I think that whole, like I said, the whole production of whoever put that together just, it all just fell apart. Wasn't entertaining at all. And you know, we're, we were live on Facebook and on Twitter, and I was just you know tweet you know tweeting away to everybody and writing to everybody on Facebook and it people were just like making comments and they're like they were agreeing with with my comments and it was just like you know and, and I said it on Facebook and I said it on Twitter I said Robin Thicke is is looking like Beetlejuice in that outfit that he had on and it was true and I said stuff about Miley Cyrus and I say, said stuff about Lady Gaga like it was just not good. Um, so anyways, you guys go check it out. And uh, again, if you guys got Twitter, please take the time to follow me. Um, it's DLG underscore radio underscore show. Look me up or look me up under DJ Friction. You'll see my beautiful face. So shut up. You know what I'm saying? Well, show up and uh, just make sure you follow us there. Make sure you follow us on Facebook as well. Uh, the Lot Groove Radio Show. We're under there. We're under 102.DLG DLG Radio uh, Network on Facebook. And then we also have another page specifically for the weekly rundown. It's exactly 
the weekly rundown. Just look us up on Facebook as well. Follow us, like us, show us some love. And maybe if you just don't like what we're saying about the whole VMAs, maybe you enjoy the whole VMAs. Go to my, go to my, go to our Facebook page to the weekly rundown and say, hey, you know what? I don't believe you're right with whatever. I like a good challenge. I like somebody who likes to give their own, you know, feedback to what I have to say, and that's cool. And that's respectable. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, feel free to follow us. Also. Uh, if you guys are watching this on YouTube right now, whatever it is, please feel free to follow our channel. Uh, it says right there in the description below everything that you need to know about what this show is all about. Pretty simple. Uh, also, uh, last way you can follow us is uh, eventually going over to Spreaker.com. It is S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. And just click... Um, uh, join now. It is free to join Spreaker. You can listen to our show and you can listen to other hundreds and thousands of other radio shows up on Spreaker. And, um, but more, mainly just follow us. Follow, us the, follow the Latin Groove Radio Show and also follow 102.DLG Radio FM on Spreaker. Those are both of our networks there. And uh, that's where you'll get all our information on everything that we do here every week on the show. Alright, so let's move it on. So then, uh, Little Kim happened to be at the show tonight. She did a little, uh, bit of a presentation tonight. And, um... Well, uh, I, I actually don't know how to kind of say this without being harsh. You know, I, I, I respect Little Kim as an artist. You know, everything that she's done for the business. But, girl, honestly, you've had too many procedures done on your face. It, it looks bad. I mean, if you look at Little Kim from back in the day, man, she has everything was sexy. Her body, her her facial features, everything was beautiful back in the day. You look at her now, man. Her face just like look like this. Like she's smiling, you can't even tell. She like, it, it's just fucked up. I'm sorry, but it is. It is just I don't know. It looks like she has a plastic face. And and I and this is exactly what I said on Twitter. This is what I exa- exactly said on on Facebook. I said, "Oh my God, little Kim, her plastic face." Laugh my ass off. Too much tonight on the VMAs. LOL. And it's funny because, <sighs> little Kim, I love you. I love you. I do. I got respect for you. But man, too much is too much, man. Your lips are off to here, like you've been. But I'm not seeing. But, I mean, I know you've had a lot of work done, and that's cool. You know, you probably want to better yourself, make yourself look better. Maybe you're just self-conscious. Maybe you want to feel a bit more voluptuous. But, I'm sorry, it's not working for you. You're just getting too much work done, and it's just not looking good anymore. But, again, you know, much love to little Kim. You know, we got nothing but love for you. And, you know, this is business. This is what we do. And, uh... Sometimes we're going to be harsh on the show. People are not always going to agree with us. And sometimes we're going to say stuff that people are going to be like, you know what? I kind of agree with what they're saying. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. And, again, like I said, if you guys don't agree with what we have to say, come on over to our Facebook page, The Latin Group Radio Show, and uh, the Weekly Rundown. And, and follow us on Twitter, man. I mean, we got nothing to hide. I mean, I like competition. I like that feedback. Um, but moving on, Kevin Hart took the stage uh, a couple of times uh, last night, and sometimes I kind of feel like the MTV VMAs were kind of just filling the void of uh, airtime. Like, I-, I feel like they had dead ear to where they had nothing else going on. So they said, hey, you know what? Let's just put Kevin Hart on the stage. And at times, I felt like Kevin Hart was put on the stage, and he was just, like, lost. And many times he stated, well, you know, I'm not really the host of the show tonight, but... You know, I am here to entertain you the whole time. He said it too. But, um, you know what? I, th- I think Kevin Hart is, is a funny dude and everything. But, <clears throat> I mean, he sat there and I felt like he was lying when he said, you know, the performance, the, all the performances tonight were great. They were entertaining. I, I, I felt like when he first came out on stage, when he saw the Lady Gaga and when he saw uh, Miley Cyrus come out and perform, I felt like he was just shooting the wind with everybody. I think he was just like. It was. There were bad performances, and I think he should have been honest with him being com- a comedian. I think that would have been a perfect, you know, the perfect time for him to just let it all out and just say, "Hey, you know what? What the hell is wrong with these performances? Lady Gaga, you know this, and and, and you know Molly Cyrus that. I, I mean, I think he would have had some great punchlines if he would have just let it go and just let it all out and just speak your mind. Because Kevin Hart, he's a talented comedian. He really is, but. 
I think when he first came out on the stage uh, uh, for the VMAs, I didn't think he felt comfortable enough. And maybe when he came out to you know for the second time that night, um, I think maybe the producers were like, "Hey, you know what? You can loosen up. It's okay. You can kind of speak your mind." So when he came out again later on during the VMAs, he kind of let it rip. He was just kind of like, "What the hell?" And uh, he came out. Uh, matter of fact, he came out a little after uh, uh, Justin Timberlake's performance. But we'll talk about that in just uh, a minute. But all right, so moving on. Um, we are actually 60 minutes into the show right now. God, time flies when you're having fun. But um, so okay, so taking the stage next was Kanye West. <sighs> you know when Kanye West takes the stage, you know there, there's always gonna be something. And uh, when Kanye came to the stage to perform his song tonight, it was just, it was odd. You know, they had him in a black silhouette, camera focused on him, and then all of a sudden, he's like behind this scrim that had like a forest or whatever it was, and you just see nothing but his shadow. He's just jumping around back there behind the scrim, and he's just, you know, rapping. But the way it was done, first of all, the song wasn't good. Wasn't good at all. Second of all, whoever set up this format for his performance was just off as well. Look, again, I got respect for these artists who do what they do. But seriously, I'm going to be honest with you right now. I wrote on Facebook and I wrote on Twitter. I said, okay, um, what the hell was that with Kanye? Really? I think I would rather see him beat up a TMZ reporter. I think it would probably have been a lot more entertaining. And that's just how I feel. The performance was not good. I would have been more entertained by him being up on a reporter. Seriously. I mean, I'm like, damn, dude. Like, that performance was so horrible. Like, are we going to get to, like, meet Northwest tonight? Like, on the show? Like, are we going to get to meet your daughter? And then while this whole thing is going on, you got Kim Kardashian on Twitter saying, oh, here's some baby photos. Oh, here's some baby photos. It's full of crap, dude. I just, it, w- it was just bad. Like I said, I would have been a lot more entertained if Kanye West, Kanye West would have just maybe busted Kevin Hart in the face or something like that and whatever. Just spiced up the whole program. All right, so then, um, like I mentioned, Justin Timberlake took the stage. And I got to tell you. He was honored with the Michael Jackson uh, uh, Lifetime Achievement Award or something like that. Um, I might be wrong if I if I said the, the award wrong or whatever it is, but he was honored. Justin Timberlake was honored tonight at the VMAs, and um, I gotta tell you, it was awesome. I gotta tell you, this was probably the best performance ever on the VMAs because. Not only did they honor Justin Timberlake, but they gave him 20, about 20, I would say about 20 minutes or 25 minutes of him performing. He did all his classic hits. He mixed, the way they mixed that up, whoever produced that segment for his music was awesome. And whoever did that, man, much props to y'all, for real. Because Justin Timberlake's performance was the best performance of the whole night. It took the night. And when you got these other artists who kept coming on the stage, I kept saying to myself, and I kept writing on Twitter, I kept writing on Facebook, I kept saying, they need to just bring back Justin Timberlake to the stage because he was he just entertaining overall. And I could sit there and watch him the whole time. And mind you, I'm not really much of a Justin Timberlake fan. So that kind of shows you, you know, where, where I'm going with all that. But... I was great. It was great to see that Justin Timberlake uh, hit the stage and that he did all his all his greatest hits. But what made it more exciting, and I kind of was a little disappointed that they didn't let uh, a portion when In Sync, the whole group from In Sync, came up and um, to perform. Uh, they performed for maybe like thirty seconds together as a group, and then they were raised up to the stage, performed thirty seconds, did like. A quick mix of maybe two or three of their songs, and then they dropped out. And then Justin Timberlake kept doing his thing. A lot of people were really excited, and the rumors are probably true. I think maybe NSYNC is getting back together again. However, I'm going to be honest with you, they're a little bit out of shape. And even Kevin Hart brought that up during his segment when he came back onto the stage afterwards. And I just want to say that, you know... 
these guys, I know it's been a, a long time since they performed together, but it's possible. I think if they're going to perform together, I want to just say, please, please take the time to, to let the guys get in shape before they hit the tour. Because if they are performing the way they perform tonight, the singing was great, but choreography-wise, it just wasn't... Like, it was really, really, really limited. Because you could see that the guys were just, you know, just not in shape. And I got nothing against people, out, you know, not in shape. Because I'm not a, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a husky dude. I'm not, you know, muscular and all that stuff. But I take care of myself. You know, I grew up doing a lot of dancing in my, in my time and stuff like that. But... You know, sometimes you just got to take that step back and just say, hey, you know what? Before I hit the stage, and maybe, it, maybe it was a last minute decision to say, hey, you know what? Let's put in sync together and let them do this performance. Maybe that was something that happened and maybe they just do something together simple to kind of just make it flow. But it was a great honor to kind of see that the NSYNC came to help uh, uh, show some love uh, to Justin Timberlake uh, tonight. So that was great to see that. Also, um... Like I said, like Justin Timber Timberlake just, you know, just rocked the whole VMAs. That was just, like I said, the best performance ever that I've seen. And I'll, I will say it again. JT oh, was the best performance, hands down. And, uh, and, you know, honestly, I think a lot of those young artists that are out there doing a thing, they could learn from Justin Timberlake. And I'm saying that respectfully. I'm not saying that the younger guys can't hang or whatever, uh, or they're not as talented as Justin Timberlake, but I'm going to tell you something. Justin Timberlake is definitely about his craft. He's dedicated to his music, and everything that he writes, it's true to some part of his life. I'm not saying that a lot of you guys out there who are writing your music, you're not singing or rapping to what you're dealing with, but Justin Timberlake has been around two decades. And he's come a long way, and he earns, you know, our respect here at the show, because he's been one that's just given his all to the business. So, much respect to him, and a lot of you younger guys out there who are trying to get, you know, be like Justin Timberlake, I mean, I'm not Justin Timberlake, but Justin Bieber, or whatever it is, I'm tired of the whole Justin Bieber's, you know, now like all of a sudden, they got Justin Bieber, you know. Much respect to him. He, he does what he does. Some people love him. Some people don't. And um, I'm not a fan of Justin Bieber. But and, but my little cousin is. You know, I got to show my cousin my cousin Jossie some love. But it's just... They're just... Now there's just too many artists coming out to try to be like Justin Bieber. And it's just... I don't know. Whatever. So anyways, so then I kind of mentioned... Uh, and I, and I told I was joking around on Facebook while we were doing this, and on uh, on Twitter I was like, "Hey, you know what? Did you know I was part of the original In Sync?" I said before I actually became, you know, before they became part of a band. I said, "But I got booted out because I was I was part of all that lip sync." We get it, In Sync lip sync, and being chubby. Never mind. You just would understand. Um, so then we moved on, and um, Macklemore came out on stage, and they performed uh, tonight on the stage. And I got to tell you, um, it was a pretty decent. Um, Performance by Macklemore, I, and I think um, what they did w was 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 decent. It probably wasn't one of the best performances, but you know they did you know their share, and um, it turned out it turned out well. Um, but again, like I said, J Justin Timberlake's performances probably w was the best. Um, and then again, again, I went on uh, Facebook and I went on Twitter and I said the same thing. I said there's just too many Justin Bieber's out there, and it's driving me crazy, which is the truth. And um, and and you know, and tonight I just went over. I said, and I'm, and I'm over it. And I said, congratulations uh, to Mahone because Mahone is doing his thing, but Mahone is just reminding me too much of, Ju of Justin uh, Justin Bieber too much as well. And it's just, I don't know. But, you know, the funny part about the whole night is, and we're running out of time, but um, the funny part about this whole thing uh, tonight was that Drake was performing tonight, okay? And uh, while Drake was performing, performing, Rihanna was looking, like, she was really bored with the whole performance. Um, if you just see her face, you guys gotta check out the video, but if you see her face, she was just looking like, yo, damn, you know, what Drake is up here performing, you know, we, we kind of, like, we all know that Drake and Rihanna messed around a little bit, but 
It just when when Drake hit the stage and when Miley Cyrus hit the stage, Rihanna was just like not entertained by it at all. And when the cameras hit her, you just saw her reaction, and people were just like not feeling it at all. And you guys definitely have to go check out um, the performance because it was hilarious, hilarious. Um, and, and like I said, um, it, it was VMAs. It wasn't one of the greatest shows out there. Um, but it was decent. And uh, what they did announce at the VMAs as well during the commercial break is that the TLC movie is coming out. I guess I'll talk about a little bit about the career and the troubles that they went through. And it's going to be coming up on VH1. So um, I think next month. So I, I kind of like looking forward to seeing that. You know, how that shapes up. I saw the previews, and they got some some of the actresses that look almost exactly like them. And I was kind of really impressed. Whoever did the casting for that movie, it's going to be really, really interesting to see. So, make sure. I will keep you guys updated on, on uh, when that movie comes out. But Okay, so Bruno Mars. I said Bruno Mars, my brother from another mother, hit the stage tonight. And I got to say, maybe Bruno Mars is probably the second best performance of the night. He went up there and uh, did his thing. And much respect to him because... Bruno Mars is actually putting out some great music. And uh, he's kind of giving me the feel of that old classic, uh, like, 70s and 80s tunes. He's just mixing it up, and he's just making it sound really, really good. Like, really entertaining. Like, I, I love his music, man. And I got nothing but respect for him as well. Um, so he, he did a great performance tonight, and uh, much love to him for that. Um, and then the final performance of the night was from Katy Perry. <clears throat> For, uh, she did her song "Eye of the Tiger." Beautiful was it was another great performance, but it was done by I guess they did it in in Brooklyn by the Brooklyn Bridge by over by the water. Pretty cool setup, everything. But I think maybe they should have just uh, maybe did it inside of a inside of an arena. I think it would have been better. I kind of see where they were going with the whole backdrop. It was beautiful the way they got it set up, but. I think it would have been more effective if it was if it was more in an arena and uh, I don't know. I mean, I can't hate on Katy Perry because she's pretty freaking awesome uh, with her music, and I respect her like I respect Pink. Uh, you know, that's another one of my favorite artists, and it would have been awesome to kind of see Pink and in, in, in performing tonight. But there was um, pretty much no no mention of her. She was nominated, I think, for one or two awards, but we didn't see her otherwise. I mean, her name wasn't brought up, and, and it's kind of a shame. I think the perfect lineup for tonight's uh, show should have been maybe uh, Pink, Katy Perry. Uh, I, I think they should have did uh, Robin Thicke by himself. I would have knocked Lady Gaga off the card and not had her perform at all. I wouldn't have had uh, Miley Cyrus perform at all. I probably would have, uh, let's see, who else would I would have had uh, perform on the stage tonight? Uh, who else do I like? I would have had, um, what's the group? Oh, my God. Oh my god, I can't think of their name. That sucks. I only got a minute and a half and I can't think of the name. Oh well, I can't think of the name right now, so I do apologize. I mean, there probably would have been like one or two more of like great artists I would have liked to have seen on the stage that maybe we haven't seen in a while. Like, I would have, I would have might have seen Mark Anthony on the stage performing his new song. Um, uh, it, it, I mean, like... Pitbull's played out, so I wouldn't want to have see Pitbull on stage. And I'm sorry for all you Pitbull fans, but it is what it is. All right, guys, so um, that's pretty much it for this very special weekly rundown. We will be back uh, this coming Tuesday night with a very special edition. Uh, so make sure you check us out by going over to our official website, thelatingroofradioshow.com. Make sure you follow us, show us some love, look us up on Facebook, and look us up on Twitter. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Much love. With that being said, we are out of here. Pieces and deuces. We'll see you guys soon. Much love, baby. Much love.